Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, grade one. Again, good morning, my lovely one. Okay, our lesson today, it's also about two dimensional shapes. We st we're still did not finish and guys, you're doing great in this lesson. Okay, our lesson today is about composite shapes. What's the meaning of composite shapes? Composite shapes means more than, uh, let's say it's a shape, okay? But it is consists of two, let's say two similar shapes together. I can put them to the same together and stick them together and make a composite shape. Or I can stick different shapes together and make another shape. What do we call this another shape? It's composite shape. Okay. The, the main or the most popular two-dimensional shapes were triangle. You learned them all, by the way. And square. Okay. And that trapezoid and the rectangle and the circle okay these are the two dimensional shapes now i want you before we start please pause the video and cut for me uh, three trapezoids uh, draw it on a flat paper and cut it uh, th three trapezoids and let's say four triangles Okay, you're done. Now, let's do it together. Now, I want you to look at the first shape. Look at this shape, this one. Take trapezoids. Can you make this shape using the trapezoids? Try it. Try with one you have. Okay? Now... Yes, I can do it. I can just imagination, okay? You cut them. You can stick them together, but I will now show you another way. You can match two vertices that are facing to each other. You can match them by one straight line. Now, look at this is the first trapezoid and this is the second trapezoid. Okay, so how many trapezoids make this shape? The composite shape that you know now, that you see now, two trapezoids make the other shape. This is six sides shape. We call this shape hexagon. Okay, this shape, we call it hexagon. It is a composite shape. Now, look at the, se the second shape, this trapezoid. I can look at the trapezoid. Now, you have the triangles, right? You cut them. Can you stick triangles, the three triangles together? The first one, make it straight like this down. And the other one, put it upside down. And the third one, put it similar to the first one. Now, I will show you another way to decide. This is the first one, okay? And this is the second one. So, how many triangles? I have one, okay? I will color the, the second and the third one with different colors to show you this composite shape. Look at it. This is the second one. Let's see the third triangle, how Miss will color it, how the Miss will color it. By the way, you can do the same like me. This is the third tri triangle. Okay, so how many triangles did we use to make the trapezoid? We used three triangles. Great job. So now trapezoids is trapezoid. It's one of the two dimensional shapes and also we can call it a composite shape okay and the first shape it is hexagon 
ها hexagon okay it has six sides here we go now we're done with page 661 don't forget to put a little star for my stars you guys you're my stars now go to the second page Page 662. Now. Now you are so smart to start imagining all these shapes. You can put together shapes to make a new shape. This new shape is called a composite shape. So if you combine do if you combine two shapes you can make a composite shape so the composite shape is more than one shape and you can stick them together stick together so when you stick more than two shapes together it's composite shape got it now so when you can put together shapes to make a new shape this is a new shape called composite shape now i have these two different shapes look at it Oh, look at these cheeks, so cute. The first cheek is holding triangle. The second the cheeks holding, we can say it's a diamond shape. Okay, uh, look at it. Okay, or we can say this shape, we call it rhombus sometimes. Okay, it's rhombus and it's diamond shape. Now, look at it properly. I can put them together and make this shape look at the way we come together i stick them together trace like me but not like me exactly i'm tracing in not the nice way you trace better okay trace better than me and show me the page send it to me now use two pattern blocks to make each shape draw a line to show your model okay let us see you what can we use i can use what guys it's so easy you can tell me okay great job so i can use two squares stick them together okay these are the two squares i can stick them together and to make a one rectangle see two shapes one shape here this one i will put it here and this one i will put it here this is the second one i will put it here wow great now go to the second shape okay i can use let's think a little bit think and think and think and think okay i have square i have triangle trapezoid and i have diamond or rhombus shape okay I think I can take this one, okay, and put it here. See? Okay, this is the trapezoid. One, I'll put it one here. Okay, what can I use now? The second shape. The second shape, I'm gonna take the triangle and put it here. So this two, I will put it up here too great job guys star for my stars great boys and girls go to the next page now can you do it with your mommy alone and don't forget to send me the pages you solved okay now this page i want you to try solving it alone and with a little help from your mommy just to read for you okay now go to the last one Go to page 664. I will read. Now. Are you with me? Are you with me? I'm not hearing. Okay, now I heard you. Answer the questions. Draw lines to show your work. Circle the pattern block that can be used two times to make this shape okay let's see this shape okay it is look like two 
similar shape, putting it upside down. Okay, we'll see. Which one? Which one? Can I use the triangle? No, I'm going to use many triangles to make this shape. Okay, let's see the rhombus or the diamond shape. Mm, I don't think so. Okay, I will try to make this. Maybe it can help. Oh, wow. Now you can see it. See, what is this shape? Can you see it? Great. So this is a trapezoid. I used the trapezoid twice. I used it two times. One time for this one. And I, I took the other one. Okay, another trapezoid and put it upside down. This is the, th the second trapezoid. Okay, and this is the second one. You can use the trapezoid you cut at the beginning of the video, right? Okay. Now, do you think in this question, question eight, in brain builders, let's see, how many half circles does it take to make a circle? Oh, so easy. You're so smart. I know you knew it. Explain to a friend how you know. Can you do it and send me the picture of the work, of your work? Okay, great job. Now we're done. Please don't forget to solve the homework assigned. See you later. I love you.